What is up YouTube? I've been gone for a long long time But I am back and I'm giving you guys the workouts the secrets the secrets of the gym trainer trainer shit some real in-depth Workouts, so here we're doing some military press seated you can do them standing up But I rather do them seated it's like that lumbar you know what I'm saying so we are doing 25 with 10 on each side you do the math and we're going for 10 reps, 10 to 15 reps. So when you guys are, are doing these type of exercises, go kind of by what I'm saying, based off the weight I'm doing. But you can do it obviously according to your program, your design, whatever. Here we're doing some skull crushers. Normally people do these to the forehead, but I'm doing it overhead. I want to feel a full contraction and go even lower than I possibly can. Stretch the shit out of that tricep. And here I am again with my good friend Lewis. Getting that uh, 70, 80 pounds, I think. Uh, trying to keep our stomach low, cause when you put, when you're starting to put that that amount of weight, it kind of throws you off, kind of pulls you up. So that's why I put my feet up sometimes. I'm trying to almost reach it, almost hold it down if I can. If it's too light. I mean, I don't know how much weight this was, but it felt a little too light. And then of course we gotta do the shoulder press with the dumbbells. Go a little bit below parallel, but ideally you wanna be parallel. Here I am uh, rocking some 30 pounds, some lightweight. I go up later on, but here's to show you the full contraction happens when you see the shoulder blades almost squeezing, almost touching each other. You can put your feet wide, put your feet close, however you want, however you're comfortable. Lewis for sure is way stronger than me in this sector, so I had to go down and wait a little bit. Not by too much though, but to where I would need a spot. Point is to keep pushing on. If, especially if you have a spotter, you don't want to do weight that you usually do. You were doing some pull downs, push downs, whatever you want to call them. Try to pull downs with the rope. Lean forward. A lot of people do not lean forward. It pisses me off. You want to lean forward so that when you go down, you're lock, almost locking out. You're fully extending your tricep. If you're going a little bit heavier, obviously it makes it more difficult, but that's the point. If, you, if it feels too easy, it's either your form, A, or B, the weight. But always first check your form. Make sure your form is nice and tight. Here I have my feet narrow, you can put them wide. However you want once again. Here we go. Do some flies now. Some shoulder flies to the side. Normally I go next to my body. And I don't use that much momentum. But just here to show you a different way to do it. You see there I fix it. Now I'm going to the side of the body. It's a little bit more difficult. And then going forward, I'm trying not to uh, use momentum. I'm trying to keep myself still. Front loose as well. You can have a slight bend on your elbow, but try not to block it out either. You're just doing the reverse. A little bit too much bend there, but you know we we're going for high weight at this point. We, we were just trying to push the weight. Not necessarily the best thing to do all the time, but uh, once you've been training for um, a couple of years, you realize that that extra push, a little bad form, is not going to hurt you, especially in the end when you're just trying to push and grind out your triceps. He does it wide. I usually recommend doing it narrow. For the same reason you want to fully stretch the tricep. Doing that wide kind of takes away from that, puts more strain on your shoulders. Depends again on your goal, where you're trying to achieve, what area of the tricep you're trying to uh, enhance. Here we keep going higher and higher in weight. Obviously we're trying to go past the tip of the bench. Sometimes I pause down there, and sometimes I bring it forward. To almost kind of relax, but you know, you don't want to do that too much. These, a lot of people also get it wrong. These are reverse cable flies for the real delts. You want to be there in the front or the back of the, the pulley system and step, take a step back so that when you pull back, you're not gonna freaking uh, lace your face, put a mark on your face. Here I am showing the back angle. You wanna do like a moderate weight, like 50 pounds, 20 pounds. Anyways, you'll realize that you can't do that crazy amount of weight here. And I would like to put the pulley system a little bit above so that it's kind of like I'm aiming down, I'm pushing down and all the way back. A lot of people take tricep dips for granted. If it's too easy, do this. Add a 45 plate. Lewis could do probably two or three plates. I've seen him do a crazy amount of uh, weight. For me, I like to keep the form tight, keep my elbows in and narrow. So again, 
First, I focus on the technique. If that's not popping, then I add weight. But first, for me, it's more important the technique. You need between two benches. See, the two plates. I also did two plates, but you see, I'm starting to struggle here. I can't uh, bend down as much, and I'm locking out more, relaxing the muscle more on the top. You don't want to do that. It just goes to show you different ways to do it. Anyways, y'all, make sure you subscribe, comment. Let me know what you want to see for the next video. And until next time. Peace.